an average person has almost 100 online accounts these days. Some of them we use daily and there are many that we haven't used in a long while. To lower the risk of your personal information being compromised, it is essential to identify accounts that are linked to your email address and get rid of those that you no longer need. Many thanks to my friend Ali for suggesting this topic. In today's video, we will review some available options to help with this. Stay tuned. As you've probably noticed, internet privacy has become more and more of a concern with each passing year. Up to the point that some insurance companies have recently started offering identity protection packages. There is an increase in data breaches here and there, and even reputable companies may accidentally give away your data. So, it's wise to reduce your exposure when it comes to your online accounts. The more you have, the greater the chance of your data being compromised. There are two main ways of finding your online accounts by either user ID or by email address. Well, as expected, almost no modern online platform lets any third-party app or online tool search on their database based on your email address, which is a part of your identity by itself. However, an online tool called namechk.com is able to search many popular online social platforms for a specific user ID. So, if you normally use one or a few unique usernames to open an online account, it is a good way of looking for some of the accounts you are searching for. But, what about accounts registered by an email address? Well, there are three steps. Number one, search those that have access to your account inside your security setting. Most popular email services such as Gmail and also social media accounts such as Facebook let you manage apps, accounts, and websites with access to your account. For example, in Gmail, click on your Google account button at the top right, then click manage your account, and on the left menu, choose security. After that, scroll down to Google apps with account access and click manage access. Then scroll down to the very bottom and click on password manager and linked account. Here, you will be able to see all the websites that you log into with your Google account. You will easily find similar options for Outlook, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and so on. Number two, check login users and passwords in your browser. Most internet browsers let you manage a list of your saved users and passwords in the privacy and security option, which can help you create a list of your old accounts that you don't need anymore. Number three, search for common words in your inbox. Try searching for your common usernames first and then search for some of the keywords like welcome, verify, confirm, subscription, unsubscribe, and activate. You need to spend some time on this step, but this one will probably result in the most precise outputs. There is also a web app called Deceit that can help with this step. But even though the developers explicitly say all sorting operations are performed locally, you still need to trust them and give email access to this app. Okay, that was it for today. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching. This is Hamid DLL and I will catch you in the next video.